Hello and welcome to another 4.2 video with me, Mioni, for Final Fantasy XIV. This is a quick video to look into the new hairstyles obtainable to you easily and for free in Final Fantasy XIV. These are, in fact, available to existing characters via the Aesthetician in in-rooms or even to new players via character creation, which is quite nice. So both of these styles are genderless, so you can use them on either male or female characters. So let's take a look first at Asisas Brutus, hairstyle, or rather the type of hair that particular NPC uses in the 4.2 main storyline. It's a shortcut hair that, although initially designed for a male template, doesn't look too bad on a female if you're into short hair. There's very little to say about this hair other than it's just another short hairstyle. You'll very likely not encounter any gear clipping with it, so that's its biggest advantage. It's not my personal cup of tea, to be honest with you, as I prefer much longer hair and I'm still waiting for the day they put one down to your, like, ankles. That would be amazing. But that leads us nicely onto the second hairstyle of the patch. This one in particular, which has long tails of hair draped forwards over the shoulders of the character, leaving a split parting at the rear of the head, and the short-cut bangs and a straight-cut fringe. This is actually quite a decent style. Initially, a lot of people reacted quite negatively on social media to its appearance in the trailer, but I think it looks ten times better in the actual game. The only issue that could occur would be from clipping of the hair into large fronted chest armour. Some of the sets are quite large and bulky so your hair is probably going to clip through that. But as I mostly wear skimpy gear anyway for my Makote, it likely won't be an issue. And here's what the two look like in the actual game itself, not much different, just thought I'd show this off anyway. So next up is what they look like on males. For this we're just going to look at the character creation of a higher male for a template. And the first piece, the short Asai Sasbrutus hair, looks pretty good. It adds to that mischievous sort of male masculine look that some players might be looking for and definitely looks more defined on a male model. The second hair, however, hmm, well, I'm not really sure I want to even click on this. Prepare your butts. Yeah, kill me now. Literally character abuse. And if we make this a more stylish colour to suit it, I, I'm, I'm fairly sure that's the pinnacle of character design right there. That's top echelon of character creation that sets the bar for future creations. I'm pretty sure you'll agree. You can grab these hairstyles as new or old players alike for free in the game via Esvetician or on a new character creation. Go pick them up today. Thank you kindly for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. Hopefully with better hairstyles than that.